one of the guys said, how do you ask if you're at the proficiency level you should be at for your rank without making it sound like you're asking how close you are to being promoted? Yeah, I, I don't, uh, you can't answer that question because that's what it sounds like. Yeah, I, I think they should know. This, this, this is, this is but, but to have a conversation specific to technical progression only and minus rank, is I feel like I've hit a plateau. I don't feel like my jujitsu has been that great now, not just for a couple of weeks, but for a few months. Mm. I might need a little pep talk. And some coaches are way better at that than others, for sure. And that is the best way to go about asking that question. But I, I always like to stay away from rank questions. I, I didn't just do that when I was a student. I try to do that even now. Mm. And I, I don't have, you know, I've noticed, too, a pattern in jujitsu where some instructors, and I, I'm not knocking it. I don't see anything wrong with it. You, I, at the end of the day, I think we, one of the things that makes jujitsu cool is, is the, how unstructured it can be. Mm -hmm. You know, like every gym or every team or whatever, they do their own thing. But at the end of the day, we're all still doing jujitsu. Um, I, I, uh, I like to see um students not necessarily know when it's coming for it to be a big surprise for it to be like icing on a cake like man, you know maybe when they less, least expected it but I, I know there's a pattern in jujitsu where guys know pretty much at the summer celebration and the you know christmas celebration that's when we're going to be doing promotions and mm -hmm. you know I, I get it um sometimes i do that but uh, that's not that's really not ever my intention of doing it. It just happens to fall on some of those days. But, you know, like you said, you, you saw last week I promoted a guy to purple belt and blue belt. And, uh, it, it was just time for both of them. I wish more students would just have more faith in their instructor. I know. So the instructor's like, hey, when the instructor right. says you're ready, you're ready. Yeah. And obviously, and just let it go. Just just let the um, the promotion thing happen on its own, because it will happen if you stick around and you show up and, and you try. It really will happen. And, you know, I know that, um, I mean, a long time ago, it was like you never met a bad purple belt. And no. then <laughs> you never met a bad brown belt. Mm -hmm. And you never you never met, a you know, like a black belt. Yeah, that guy was like a magician. Mm hmm. I mean, and this may go into where we stopped short of another conversation a second ago. And jujitsu has definitely changed. But, you know, like I had I have a guy that uh, it's been a while that I promoted. And um, and he's not doing jujitsu uh, for some health reasons. Uh, but I mean, man, he was he was super consistent. Mm -hmm. He tried really, really hard. Um He's never going to compete. Um, if if I could find somebody that looked just like him and, or excuse me, that that was built just like him with the same level of athleticism, the same age, the same weight, he would totally hold his own in that category. And so in that case, I feel like it was totally appropriate. Was his jujitsu good? No. No. But, you know, you put me in certain situations – and make me play a game that I'm not familiar with as dynamic as jujitsu is now. And, and I'm not necessarily good. I, I remember, I remember when, uh, and, and, you know, I host a lot of guys to teach at my school. And I remember a really long time ago, I had a very well-known black belt come in and he started by saying, you guys can ask me anything you want. I know everything. And I remember like, man, I Somebody said that. Until... yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I remember Jesus. thinking, I can't wait until, I'm that good one day to where I can say that too. And now I realize, right. man, there's certain things like I know nothing about. I'm a blue belt in uh, leg locks, Alec. <laughs> That's pretty good. No, I think I'm like a three stripe white belt in leg locks, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Sir, they, they can't grab your legs, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're too short. <laughs> They're, my feet are too small and my legs are too short. And thick. You're like, whoa. <sighs> <laughs> that's what we have to good we this needs to go viral so people will believe that and they'll leave my feet alone <laughs> it's like even to get to like a ashigurami like dude it <laughs> it's already slipped out by the time you thought you had that thing <laughs> that's say me too man that's half of my my leg lock defense like whoop. <laughs> I, 
pull that leg well, the thing was like I remember you and I having a conversation about leg lock defenses one time and you were like yeah just I just don't let them get to my feet and I was thinking like okay I like that I mean, if you want to shut, so, like, you can shut it down if you really, really want to shut it down. Mm-hmm. It, it, you just can't open yourself up or leave yourself in those positions, usually. Yeah, for sure. <laughs>